and this is Caleb Kinslow on location at the 2012 Unashamed Tour, and the crowds are hype. <laughs> Now, a lot of things I hear about are uh, the titles, you know, like Christian filmmaker, Christian you know, rapper. I mean, how do you feel about that? Do you, do you accept those titles? Do you want to change them? What are your thoughts? I mean, I think at the end of the day, Christian, in my opinion, a Christian is a noun. It's not an adjective. And so I don't describe myself as a Christian. I am a Christian. Um, so I don't wear Christian shoes. You know, it's not, a, it's, not a, it's not an adjective right. to me, it's a noun. Um, and that's how the Bible uses it. It calls us Christians. And so Lecrae is a Christian. Um, I am a rapper and I am a Christian. So you can say I'm a Christian rapper, but in terms of a genre, I think that's more of an adjective. And so um, I'm not really concerned with genres. I'm not, it's not my, my ambition to make a genre big. It's my ambition to make sure that Jesus is glorified and, and that he's honored. And so. Uh, that's really my major concern. Uh, one of the great dilemmas of life is not how you deal with failures, but how you deal with the successes. Mm -hmm. you know, so how do you handle that success? You're up there blowing up, doing these big things. I mean, how, like, how do you stay grounded and humble? Yeah, I mean, it, it, has, it depends on what you see success as. And, and what's happened for me has been a lot of impact. And impact is great. I think impact is, is, is a good thing in some senses, but sometimes it's, it's, it's just here and it's gone. I, I'm more concerned about influence. Um, you know, influence lasts and it, and it changes things. You know, Jesus didn't have uh, a big impact. It wasn't like something happened while he was on earth that just the political shift or climate just changed immediately. But Jesus has had an unending influence. I mean, he's been, you know, he was crucified thousands of years ago. And look, now we're so still so influenced by everything he's done. And so he wasn't concerned with making a big flash in the pan and like, look what I did, you know, I changed Israel today. You know, the, his influence just continued to last and last and last. And that's really what I'm aiming for. A lot of young people today are struggling with the idea of calling and purpose. I mean, that's huge. What do you say to someone who's trying to find what their calling and their purpose is? You, you're stamped uh, with the fingerprint of uh, an eternal and infinite God. And if you don't realize that, you'll live for something insignificant. You, you'll live purposeless. You know, we were made for His glory. We were made to glorify Him. And when we glorify ourselves or we glorify cars or, or toys and things along those lines, we're glorifying insignificant things, which is always makes us end up feeling insignificant. How you flesh out, you know, what you do to glorify God is, is going to be different for everyone. You know, the Bible says whether you eat or drink, do all unto his glory. Right. And so, uh, but you're never going to know what's your purpose to do until you find the one who gave you purpose. All right, Lecrae, thank you. Have a great show.